I think what you guys are doing out here is a very good cause and one of the most important things for the U.S. and for the world going forward is to work to understand each other better and I, from what I've seen here this is really what you all are working to do and share a positive message which is one I'd like to see more everywhere and a message of bringing people together. So I'm very happy to see that you guys are stepping up, you're saying this is what we believe in and you're spreading a good positive message and I would like to see all people have their own booths here at the Miami International Book Fair uh, doing that same thing. When I first saw your booth here, it just made me cry. I'm like, oh, this is what Islam is about, which is what I was pretty sure it was. And so all that other stuff that people think, they're crazy. And I'm your total partner in um, Muslims for Peace and also Jews for Peace and everybody for Peace. I'm 100%. So the word peace for me, since I'm Jewish, is the shalom, is, is just the same for you, salam. And it, for, it means wholeness and completeness. And so in order to have peace, we have to each have wholeness and completeness in each of our hearts. And by you and I working together, this is the beauty of America, that Muslims and Jews can like be together and have these amazing conversations and work to make, to heal our world. 100% that's what I'm about. Through Islam, means you go back to the prophet Muhammad who was an illumined sage and he saw peace, he felt light, he felt joy and he wanted his followers to feel that same experience and that's a world experience so he wants everybody to feel that. You know, Palma is, in, is, a, is a component, it's, a, it's part of like you would say an auxiliary of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community and it's essentially Palma really is, is, is started in London and it's, in London it's basically with the Africans and so we who are African-American, we say we're part of what is considered to be the diaspora. We came from Africa, we settled in America. So what happened, the love of our dear beloved Khalifa, God give him long life, long life and good health. The wisdom of our Khalifa, he said that the Africans and the african Americans should come together and try to save the African-American because the African-Americans know the culture of the African-Americans. So you need to go into the community and whatever social issue that is happening within the African-American community, you, the African-American, can go down there and save them. So again, having a collaborative effort with the Africans from Africa, especially the West Coast of Africa, all of Africa, and the African-American coming together, we can, we can merge together, and then we can take the knowledge and wisdom and the true Islam, which is the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, to our brothers and sisters in the African-American community or the African-American diaspora. So the Pan-African, the Pan-African is pan the Pan-African as we can see, the Pan-African Ahmadiyya Muslim Association. And the Pana, you know, Pan-Am, it is just a short firm, a short version, if you will, a short version, a short version and an acronym of what we're seeing here, the Pan-African Ahmadiyya Muslim Association. And at this is not just something that is started by the African-American. This is something that is sanctioned under the directive of our beloved Hazur, Ayatollah bin Nasir Aziz. Allah continue to give him long life and good health. So under that umbrella, Hazur have, have appointed gentlemen in uh, London and here in America, the Pan-African, or Pan-Am, is under the leadership of our dear respected Imam, Deba Sahib. And from there you have the um, Vice President, who is Brother al Haj Yaqub in Milwaukee, and the Vice President, who is a Ghanaian. His name is uh, Brother Abu, Abu Bakr bin Saeed. And from there, of course, we're here in Miami. And of course, the person here in Miami, the Tablik Secretary, one of the individuals who is in charge, is our dear brother, al Haj Habib Shafiq. So he is the man here, in, uh, in fact, in Miami. I am from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so I am as a Caribbean person, as an African-American living in this country. So I am part of that diaspora. So it's for me to go back into the African-American community or in the Caribbean community or in the Caribbean, the Afro-Caribbean community and bring the message of peace and love from the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, which is, Panam is just a component of that, bringing this message to the people of our community, which is love for all and hatred for none. You see the shirt I'm wearing, in essence. So this is all one collaborative effort here. And we have a number of other booths that are set up, our brothers and sisters here, that are from the different areas, from Pakistan, from India, from all parts of the world. 
keep in mind as I'm speaking with you that the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is in 212 countries. And so Pan Am, in which derivative from Africa, is just one component of that. So the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is very strong in Africa. We have schools, we have hospitals, we have clinic. They have interpreted the Holy Quran in Africa in a number of the African dialects. The same thing in all the other, the other, in all the other communities. So Pan Am is something that is supposed to help the larger part of the, actually all of the African American diaspora here in America to come under the umbrella of the Ahmadiyya, the true Islam, which is the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. So this is what it's all about. It's all about love, love for all, hatred for none. And uh, we said that by the grace of God, our Khalifa is the one who is the pilot in the ship, who will lead us back to Almighty God. And so we are, we are all under the guidance of the Khalifa of the time, Khalifa Tumasi, may Almighty God give him long life and good health.